you very much for this presentation. Mr. President, President Bolsonaro, ministers, uh, authorities, dear friends, uh, we're very happy to be here in this incredibly uh, warm atmosphere of the uh, World Affairs Council uh, of Dallas-Fort Worth and the Brazilian American Chamber of Commerce. Uh, very happy to have this opportunity to, to address you. Uh, this is a new Brazil that President Bolsonaro and part of his team are bringing to Dallas. Uh, and we need basically your engagement of the business community, business leaders, to uh, transform th this project that we bring into a reality. Uh, the Brazilian people are clearly already engaged in that project. We saw this very clearly uh, with the uh, reception that waited for us here in, in Dallas, a very warm reception too from the Brazilians that uh, surrounded the president at the front of the hotel. Uh, people who uh, didn't need to be here but really wanted to be here to express their trust uh, in the president. In the president. Uh, I heard things uh, shouted like, uh, we're rooting for you, for you. This is something very, that's very important. It's not trivial, this sort of sentiment. Uh, when a civil society is, uh, is rooting for its government, right? Traditionally in Brazil, uh, and as in other countries, we have this uh, uh, situation where if there's a government, I'm against it, right? From the part of the, the civil society. And, and for people to feel that they connect and that the government belongs to them and gives them hope is something extraordinary. Uh, people believe in us. And uh, I heard uh, a gentleman saying, referring to President Bolsonaro, Esse cara vai salvar o Brasil. This guy is going to save Brazil. This is a, an enormous amount of, there's an enormous amount of energy. Uh, it's, it's a mandate, I think, that Brazilian people has given the president, president and, and his team. Uh, an enormous responsibility. And uh, this is a, a treasure that society, the people are trusting uh, in our hands. And only this uh, popular engagement will be able, uh, will enable us to, uh, perform the job and, and to push forward the, uh, the necessary reforms. Because we don't have a, a project of uh, technocratic management, but a real and deep process of national transformation. That's what Brazilian people ask for uh, in the election. Uh, the uh, people asked us and wants from us to, uh, to change the whole system and that was what President Bolsonaro is determined to accomplish, uh, to change a system of, uh, of patronage, of uh, state control of the economy, uh, of uh, the economy controlled by uh, what we call the machine, right? In, in Brazil, we use a lot of that expression, the, the, a machina. And uh, uh, there's always the talk about uh, po uh, politics being about who will control the machine, right? Uh, and I think I can say that. Uh, you know, interpreting the president's uh, thought that we, we don't want to control the machine, we want to get rid of the machine. Right? We want to uh, turn off the machine and uh, forget the keys. Uh, because this machine is what, along decades, uh, uh, produced stagnation, unemployment, crime, corruption, and uh, uh, a going away from the principles and values uh, of the Brazilian people. Uh, and, and this system, this machine, in order to run, needed an economy that was closed and bureaucratic uh, because competition from abroad and uh, economic freedom was something that was totally against the functioning of that uh, status and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, government controlled uh, machinery. Uh, so we strongly need uh, economic opening and uh, deregulation as part of this uh, deep process of transformation in the country. Uh, and thanks to this commitment, we are already opening uh, enormous new opportunities for business uh, in Brazil. What we heard already here from investors and uh, in Dallas has been extremely <laughs> encouraging uh, from oil and gas companies, especially with other, other um, many other uh, sectors. Uh, who are looking at Brazil differently because of this sort of very strong commitment that 
uh, under the, president, the leadership of President Bolsonaro, we, uh, we have now. Uh, uh, we're sure that investments will come, not because of uh, uh, through uh, some cosmetic changes, but only through uh, the new vision for the country and for the economy. Uh, so, uh, and part of our project is to reconnect with uh, our traditional and, and main partners abroad, most especially the United States, uh, who are also great democracies and traditional partners of uh, development and growth in Brazil, who unfortunately have been neglected for uh, a long time. Uh, uh, and uh, other avenues that we're exploring, uh, all, all, uh, all of them will uh, come together to uh, reinforce this project. Uh, the uh, negotiations with the European Union, for example, uh, our new uh, relationship with Israel, which was also totally neglected for a long time. Uh, so a whole reconnection with uh, the nations and regions who are democratic and uh, share our aspirations towards freedom and uh, uh, fully functioning uh, uh, <coughs> market economy, which at the same time uh, is built on top of uh, coherent uh, societies, of societies where people feel proud about their countries, proud about, about their nations. So we don't think there is any contradiction between uh, national feeling and uh, economic performance. On the contrary, we think that economic, economic efficiency should be built on top of uh, nations that make sense, where people are part of, uh, feel that they're part of a, uh, something bigger than themselves and where they find, find meaning uh, and not only economic opportunities. Uh, we're creating new platforms of engagement with every country, with the United States, particularly during President Bolsonaro's visit to Washington, we launched what we call the uh, uh, Prosperity Partnership, which is uh, an umbrella for many initiatives that we're starting to uh, uh, organize with, uh, with our American partners. Uh, and in that process, one of the main uh, approach, one of the main changes in the approach that we want to introduce is to have the private sector and, and regulators side by side, uh, developing new initiatives and developing uh, the uh, new avenues for, for cooperation. Also too often in the past, we looked at uh, that sort of process as governments knowing everything and uh, then private sector just having to, uh, to swallow whatever was decided by the governments. Now we do want to have uh, business together with uh, regulators at the drawing board designing the new, uh, the new initiatives. So uh, as I said, what, what we see here in Dallas is tremendously encouraging. Uh, I think it show, shows we are uh, on the right track, uh, and that the, uh, the, this popular will for uh, change for uh, a new country where we have an economy that functions, that's, opening, uh, that's open to the world, and at the same time, a society that is proud of itself. Uh, we're trying to translate that into uh, concrete actions, and uh, everything we see here, uh, I think, shows that we are already generating concrete results, and much more will come. Thank you very much.